Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about one of my favorite things in this world and that is fall. I am a fall girl. I have always loved it. It brings out truly the best in me and my creativity and just nostalgia and I love everything about this cozy season. I'm having a little bit of a weird fall because weird things are popping up and happening and I have a lot of obligation and responsibility this year. It's all good but it's a lot and so I'm really trying to focus on the positive and really just enjoy the little things. So a lot of the things I'm going to share today are me really finding enjoyment in the little things and this year in particular my favorite color theme has come out like we are in espresso fall which is my favorite I love a chocolate brown I love brown everything and so there's a lot of brown favorites in this video and I am all the way here for it before we dive into all of my favorites and there are a lot of them I do want to say thank you to our sponsor today's video is partially sponsored by Walmart and on that same topic of espresso fall I was finally able to to purchase a Nespresso machine which has been on my wish list for a very very long time if you know me at all I am very coffee obsessed and I probably spend way way too much money on coffee from coffee shops like almost every single day we're talking and I did make coffee at home but I wanted to elevate that experience so I purchased a Nespresso machine from Walmart they do have a ton of options on the website I settled on the Virtuo Plus and it's the older version. It just had better reviews than the newer version and I've really been loving it so far. Walmart is one of my favorite retailers and Walmart had everything I needed on walmart.com to create my dream coffee corner. Walmart has so many options for affordable decor and as we go into the holiday season, even more is coming out. I found this basket for my coffee accessories that will work year round and I also found the most adorable seasonal glassware and everything is kind of ghost themed right now. I have a bunch of recommendations including the syrups that I use for my coffees, the flavoring that I use, the tools that I use, and the storage and decor. So I'm going to neatly organize everything from my coffee corner in a link down below if you guys are interested in kind of creating your own. So a massive thank you to Walmart for sponsoring this portion of the video and also helping me to create my dream coffee space. This is going to be so so helpful in these cold months to make my coffee at home. I'm gonna save money. I'm gonna have fun with it. If you guys have a Nespresso machine or you've been using one, please let me know if you have any go-to recipes. I will literally go get everything you recommend, so let me know. I definitely have more favorites later on in this video that are available on Walmart, so I will link them down below as well, but let's get into the rest of my cozy favorites. I have very dry skin, and especially in these colder months, these winter months that are coming, I need a little extra attention because I will develop eczema, and it becomes very itchy and very uncomfortable, so I do have a lot of body care favorites and this is like a long story short but one of my favorite lotions from Aveeno was discontinued so I've been on the hunt to find more products that actually work the way that that worked for me and so far everything has fallen short except for a very select few and so my next favorite is one of the select few that helps keep my eczema at bay. This is fairly new from Kiehl's. This is their Ultra Body Mega Moisture squalene cream. Now this is basically the body version of their famous facial cream, their ultra facial cream, and I am a little embarrassed honestly at how quickly I have gone through this expensive product because it is fairly expensive. The ingredients in here do not irritate my dry skin and this is ultra fast absorbing. The most important thing for me is that it keeps my eczema and itchy shins at bay because that is the bane of my existence. This does not have a scent though and honestly that's fine for the purpose that I'm using it for 
but if you know me, you know I love a good smell good lotion. So I have a couple here. I have a lot of body lotion to share that do smell incredible and that I don't use for the eczema areas, but I use them on like my upper body where I can smell them. So my first smell good body cream is this limited edition guy from Sol de Janeiro. This is the Chirosa 71 body cream. I did do a first impression on this and ever since I've been using it in combination with the body spray. For one thing, I absolutely love the color of the jar of this and this has a nice faint shimmer to it too, which I really, really love. But it smells like white chocolate and caramel popcorn mixed together. It's kind of a love it or hate it situation. I know a lot of people this is too sweet for, but for me, this is the perfect gourmand for cozy season. I want kind of an intense, delicious scent for this time of year. If you already own the body mist and you love the 71 body mist, you're definitely going to want to mix these two together and get your hands on this before it's gone. If you know, you know. I kind of shrugged this off for a really long time. This is the EOS vanilla cashmere lotion. I just thought, okay, everyone on the internet is just hyped over this random product. It, there's no way it can smell that good, right? Wrong. <laughs> wrong. It smells incredible. And this is a little bit less intimidating and a little bit less gourmand than the Chirosa 71. This is much more exactly what it sounds like. Vanilla cashmere. Cozy, warm vanilla. This is a lotion that I can wear every single day. It's not too, too harsh and it mixes well with a lot of different fragrances. I do wear this every day. This is a backup bottle. My main bottle is downstairs, but I know I'm going to go through it. Weirdly enough, even though this is scented, it does not bother my eczema, but I don't really use it for that purpose. I mainly use this on my upper body, my arms, and I like to spray my perfume over this to just enhance that warm vanilla. Vanilla. It's just such an experience and honestly if you were like me and just like ignoring everyone who's talking about it I would pick it up and the texture of it is really really good too and I like the way that it comes out I don't know why it's just it's really good I do kind of focus a lot more on body care during this time of year just because I do tend to have super dry skin so I like to give it a little extra attention so I do have more body care products to talk about this one is actually an empty because I loved it so much this is the Dove limited edition I think they call it holiday treats cinnamon pumpkin pie body scrub it is gone and it smelled exactly like pumpkin pie. It's cinnamony, it's pumpkiny, it's an absolutely delicious scent, but I completely used up this entire scrub, and these can be kind of hard to find. Once they're gone, they're gone. For the sake of not letting you guys down, I have linked the new scrubs for the Christmas season that people are not even talking about yet, and I'm pretty sure they are Sugar Cookie Sprinkle and Peppermint Bark, and they are on Walmart.com, but they come and go out of stock, so you have to pay attention. I brought this one up so I could show you the texture. This one is Apple Cider Caramel. This is next up on my roster. It is just so dreamy. These are more like polishes than they are scrubs. It's not like a super chunky sugar scrub. It's very, very gentle. It's very luxurious feeling and I feel like these are super, super slept on. Honestly, if I had to use one type of scrub for the rest of my life, it would be these Dove ones. Whether they're the limited edition ones or the regular line, they're just so good. They make my skin super, super soft and it does feel like an experience in the shower and also they're easy to wash away. I feel like some scrubs get a little bit like stuck and like residue left behind. These are not like that. They don't feel oily. They feel more like moisturizer. But get your hands on the sugar cookie one if you can because I feel like that's going to be a hit for this next season. I'm just realizing before I talk about my next body mist that the mists I'm talking about in today's video are very personal. I feel like they're very hit and miss because everyone has different tastes when it comes to scent and this one felt controversial when I reviewed it and I do love it so I have to talk about it because I really really like it. This is Fleur Heavy Cream and this has notes of lemon sugar, marshmallow, and orange, jasmine blossom, coconut cream, and bretolide, 
vanilla mousse, salted caramel, and whipped cream. I was disappointed that I didn't pick up on the lemonness of this fragrance, but for me, oh, it just got in my mouth. <coughs> it is in my mouth right now, and it does not taste good, but it smells like a powdery, marshmallowy, clean person. I don't know. It makes me feel clean and cozy at the same time. But some of the comments I have received make me want to put like a warning out there. Some people smell like sour milk and I would not be wearing this obviously if I picked up on that at all. It does not smell like that on me. It smells like a fluffy warm marshmallow and I love that. I do think that this is coming back soon for those of you who may have missed it. For me, I'm very, very glad that I purchased it. So I have extensions in my hair right now. It's only one weft of extensions, but if you guys do follow me on my other platforms, I've kind of been transparent about the fact that I've lost a lot of volume in my hair, and I mean a lot, ever since I lost some weight last year. Um, I don't know what the deal is. I'm slowly growing it back, and I recently got... A haircut that has really really helped me it got rid of a lot of the straggle so my hair is a lot shorter but it's a lot healthier and this next favorite has really been helping me a lot so I want to give it its flowers even though it's not necessarily like a warm cozy favorite but it is a personal fall favorite for me this is the Kerastase elixir all team and this is basically a hair oil, but it's a super, super lightweight hair oil. And for whatever reason, my dry, frail ends of my hair drink this up without becoming oily. And it kind of gives new life to my hair and makes it look so much better. <laughs> so much better. But when I'm telling you this bottle, I think this is a, a big bottle that's refillable. Um, this is going to last me my entire life because... <laughs> I use barely, like barely any of this, like the tiniest, tiniest little dot onto my hand, tiniest dot, smaller than a pea, literally miniature. And then I rub it in my hands, I get it warmed up, and then I go through the ends of my hair. And so that is how I think it's working so well for me. I really get it warmed up. I don't put too much of it in one area of my hair because my hair is very very fine right now but I am just so grateful for this product and if any of you have that same issue there's a dog hair floating around if any of you have that same issue I think you're really going to like this hair oil feel free to let me know if you have any other game changers that will help in this situation I need to do a whole video about it about this hair journey because I'm finally figuring it out but I love this. My next favorite, you guys, I personally believe it deserves to go viral and have its moment online, but at the same time, I kind of don't want it to because then it'll be sold out forever. But this is just such good quality for an affordable price. This is another item that you can get on Walmart, so I will have it linked for you. I need to insert a photo for you guys so you can see the whole bag, but this is the Weekender bag from the Home Edit. This is under $40, and it literally has everything you need in a little travel bag like this. It's not even little, but it's like the perfect personal item size for plane travel. So like putting this on top of your carry-on suitcase, it's perfect. It has a section for a laptop. It does fit mine. It has a mesh zipper pouch in here. It also has the pocket that converts into a sleeve to go over your luggage. It's got a pocket in the front and it's got a shoe compartment in the bottom. It is so impressive, you guys, and for under $40, and often it goes on rollback, so I would highly, highly recommend getting this, and this would also make an amazing gift for anybody in your life who goes on little weekend trips or even wants like a more convenient gym bag. Like It's just such a good everything bag. Literally just get it. I don't think you could possibly be disappointed in this bag. I feel like everyone needs to know about it. I am primarily a beauty creator, so the fact that it has taken me this long to get to the beauty products, I'm very sorry, but for those of you who have patiently waited, 
we have arrived at the beauty category. I do want to mention this train case or vanity case, whatever you want to call it. This is the Say vanity case and I believe, oh my goodness, that it's sold out like a lot of my favorites are, but hopefully it comes back. I just think it's so aesthetic and it really fits the brown vibe of the year. I use this a little differently. I fill it up with new makeup releases and then I do full faces of makeup with this case, but I just think it's so adorable and kind of luxe and just beautiful. It's a favorite in itself, but it's also containing all my beauty favorites. My first item has been on my eyelids almost every single day throughout this entire season and honestly in the summer too because I've always loved this brown theme even before we've gotten into Espresso Girl Fall. I love brown, I love a monochromatic brown, and I love an easy one and done eyeshadow and that's exactly what this product is. This is what I have on my eyelids today. It's the Armani Beauty Eye Tint and this is in the shade 22M. I really want to pick up, there's an even darker brown than this that I want to get, but this is the absolute perfect medium brown for my eyelids. I can't get over this and honestly, this might be running low, which is huge for me with all of the makeup that I own, that we are running low on a product. It's so simple and easy to use. It's got a little pointy applicator. You just brush it on, and I like to take a white blending brush for eyeshadow and just kind of buff it into the eyelid. It gives you just enough time to work with it, but it does dry down so you don't have to worry about it moving around. It's the perfect dry down time though to really get in the crease and blend everything out perfectly. It doesn't smear around, it doesn't sheer out too much. I feel like everybody needs an eyeshadow product like that that they can just slap on, blend out, and be good to go. But I highly, highly recommend this brown shade. It's stunning. Next up is is the lip gloss that I have on. It's time to refresh it anyways, so let's talk about it. I've actually got so many comments on a little short video that I made wearing this that had nothing to do with this, so that's when I know that we have a really good product on our hands. It's just so pretty. This is from Kaja. It's the Juicy Glass in the shade Fig Smoothie, which is right on theme right now. It's very similar. It might be a little bit pinkier than my eyeshadow, but very similar vibes. This is one of the new milky shades that they released. They also have a bunch of sheer shades, and honestly, I love them all, but this one is my most reached for right now. It just has that perfect amount of color to it, but it's also ultra, ultra glassy. You guys are going to hate me at this point because this product may also be sold out currently. I hope it comes back, but this, I have to talk about it. I've been using it so often. I have to mention it. It is the Dose of Colors. It's literally magic multi-use shimmer stick and it's in the shade Stardust. I don't know about the other shade. I don't know if I would recommend the other shade because I don't own it, but this one looks a lot like Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy, but it's so easy to apply. It kind of goes on feeling, I don't even know if you guys can see that. It goes on feeling kind of wet and cooling, and then it does dry down into just like a fine powdery glitter. There's probably no way that this lighting is going to do this justice, but I do have short videos on this. I think this is worth the price. If it never comes back though, I will probably share some affordable alternatives. Let me know if you guys want to see a little video like that. I'm being a bad YouTuber because I didn't keep the packaging and I have one of these in my car, but Summer Fridays came out with a gift set or little mini set of the lip balms and they're all neutral brownie shades, you guys, and the one that I have missing is like another brown, but it's in my car. There's four of them. I believe it's $25 and I missed these last year, so I had to get them this year. I think the other shade was iced coffee, but we have vanilla, vanilla beige, which I've been wanting, and brown sugar, which I've been wanting. I haven't tried these ones yet. I have a full size of the vanilla and I think the other one is iced coffee, but I highly recommend these. These also make really good stocking stuffers. I'm also pretty sure that I said in another video that I wasn't going to buy any more Summer Fridays until I used up the ones that I have, 
but I definitely broke that rule. But I ha I just had to get this. <laughs> of course, I could not get through a fall cozy favorites without talking about the Natasha Denona I Need a Warm palette. I will pop up the swatches that I took of this palette for you guys, but this is the perfect warm fall palette. I don't know how many times I can say this, but I love a brown eye look, you guys. I also did a brown look with this if you guys wanna see it. There's a bunch of really pretty metallics in here, and to be perfectly honest with you, it's not too warm. It's not like it's orange, you know what I mean? Like it's not giving Morphe 350. And that is no shade. I loved that palette when it was in its height, but I just can't do the orange. I was not sure at first if I was going to like this, but it's the perfect shade of brown. I love it. This may sound a little weird to some of you guys, but I like to have a different mascara for my bottom lashes. Sometimes I like to have a nice light brown or a different color on my bottom lashes than I have on my top lashes, and today is a perfect example of that. And I used this Pillow Talk Charlotte Tilbury mascara, but it's in the shade Dream pop which is kind of like a burgundy brown color let me see if I can like smudge this oh I certainly can smudge this on the back of my hand I mean say less right is that not the perfect shade to have on your bottom lashes not only is it the perfect shade of brown but it also has a nice skinny wand that's not going to smudge, it's not going to get all over my face, I can really get up in there. And for some reason, my bottom lashes, honestly, I think they're longer than my top lashes, so I really like to have a lengthening and separating mascara as opposed to like a volumizing, almost clumpy mascara. But this has been really, really nice for that lower lash. Sometimes I don't even want anything on my lower lash. So compromising with a nice like brown berry color has been my go-to for this season. Those are all of my cozy season fall favorites that I have been absolutely adoring lately. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed talking about these products. Let me know if anything that you you're loving right now kind of fits this espresso chocolate brown coffee vibe because I'm getting a lot of enjoyment out of this I'm not even gonna lie I feel like it's brown season and I'm stepping into it because I'm such a big fan of all things brown don't forget if you guys are interested in any of my Walmart favorites they will be linked down below and I'm gonna try to organize them all nice and cute for you guys as always thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and taking the time to watch today's video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content and hopefully I will see you guys very soon in my next video. We are getting into holiday season. Bye guys!